Nice to meet you too. Uh, nice to meet you. All right. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, just have a seat. We'll just chat real quick. What we're going to do is just uh, get to know you a little bit, talk about a couple things, and then we'll get right into the side. This weekend, uh, today, Saturday, we are casting. We'll be doing this for the next two weekends. We'll be in Bakersfield today, casting all day for both Byron and Beta, and then looking for, it's, it's, there's only two parts, so we have to get it exactly right. So we got a lot of people that we're gonna be looking over today and next week. For Beta specifically, we're looking for someone who can portray a lot of emotions. It's a difficult role with an extreme range. And, and for Byron, the same thing. We're looking a little bit more for an awkward, goofy mannerisms. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that like enters back into the campaign. Yeah, that was so good. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it went really well. We saw a lot of the uh, things we were hoping to see from a lot of the actors, and uh, we were able to see a lot of potential as well. So overall, I think it was a good day. I have a lot of real, a lot of talent here. So here we are. We're going to go down to L.A and uh, cast part two. So we've got about 70 or so actors. Hopefully we'll whittle it down to three or maybe even one um, uh, for both roles of Byron and Beta. All right. Um, if this can move a little bit. Yeah. We've had an insanely good turnout. It's been really good. We've seen some amazing performances. So we're excited to look at the footage, but also it's gonna be, it's gonna suck to have to say no to some of these people because <laughs> they're so good. We spent the last, um, you know, few days just looking over the footage to make decisions. It's a, it's a very tiring process, but very rewarding. It, it will yes, and uh, I I get energized by it because I'm starting to see like you see it come together. Yeah, right. You get excited for that character that could be. He hits the pores line. He does I think a great job with that, and with the hopefully I think he did a good job with that. Like it was it was a more engaging watch. Which part? Like every part. All of it? Yeah. I don't know. I liked her, but I don't know if she's, she's in my top three, but I wouldn't say I liked her more than Jesse. Mm -hmm. I created you to be my companion, to love me. We casted um, a, a guy by the name of William Nickel for the role of Byron. Really loved the way that he um, took direction. He was so quick and so like uh, so reactive to all the notes that we gave him. He came across as such a gentle spirit, um, which is what we were looking for. And so we were really excited about uh, about William in, in the role of Byron. Beta, um, we we cast a actress by the name of Aubrey Boucher. She is such an engaging actress because of how much she it's gonna be hard to keep the camera off of her because even on her off lines she's reactive and so expressive with everything we went down to los angeles and did a um a chemistry test and we um we had them just kind of read off of each other and they just seemed to really hit it off and you know in, in that short moment it seemed very natural to me hi my name is byron I'm Beta. I remember in the chemistry read, like, knowing it was William that was meant to play Byron. Like, whether or not I was going to be Beta, I just knew that, like, oh, that's Byron. Like, for sure, William is supposed to be Byron. She's fantastic, yeah. Her part is harder, I think. There's a lot of real technical demanding things that you just have to be able, you have to do, and uh, she just did it. So it's, I, I was able to just really, like, you know, react around her. I, I, I created you, right, right, for me to, to be a... Uh... You... You created me for you. What does that mean? Beta, you know, she, she takes charge of her own life. She's curious, she's kind, but she takes charge and she's not afraid to say, hey, this is this doesn't feel right. I want to see what else is there. I can identify with all those, like, fears Byron has, you know, of, of, yeah, of intimacy, of all that stuff. So I can, I can empathize with it and understand it. He does all these things to try, to try to, like, avoid that, but ends up having to deal with it, too, because he creates something that's 
has its own consciousness, you know, that he can't control. This short film, Beta, I think it has a larger statement than than it really means, at least to me. To me, it's it's all about a female taking her power back, taking control of herself, and um, and experiencing life outside of a tiny box that someone's made for them. And I think a big message too is that like once you, it's even about like having kids and stuff too. It's like once you create consciousness, it's no longer yours, you know. And I think so. That's a that's something I took from it or I think that's a theme that's interesting you know it's, it, it made me think of once you have a kid you know it is your kid but they have their own consciousness and their their own existence you know it was all just like let's make something let's create let's work together it was very collaborative the whole process with every single step of it felt great